Okay, so everybody bear with me. I'm not a teacher of any sort, so. But if you are interested in getting Clipper installed on your CR10 V3, uh, this is how I went about doing it. We'll start with uh, what we're going to need first. So I'll try and put this in the description with the links on the bottom. We'll see how far I get. This is a basic list. Uh, so let's start with the hardware. You're definitely going to need the CR10 with the 8 bit motherboard version 252. Uh, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi. We are going to need a micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, 32 or lower is usually the best, but I haven't had any issues with like 128, so feel free to get what you want. Just make sure it's not crap. You're going to need a decent data cable. I'm just using Amazon to show you guys what you need. You can get it from anywhere you'd like. Um, I would suggest re removing the power pin out of the USB-A. Uh-oh. Okay. Apparently I lost it. You're going to need a good power supply for your Raspberry Pi. This is a USB-C cable for a 4B. Uh, I'm working with the 4Bs. It should be the same process for the 3Bs, maybe slightly different hardware. This is optional. This is the webcams I use. I haven't had any issues with them. They're pretty much plug and play. This is optional as well. If you want to do your resonance test, it's an accelerometer. Um, they're cheap and easy to hook up. They hook directly to your Raspberry Pi. So that's pretty much it for the hardware. Now we'll go over the software that you're going to need. Anything that you edit will need to be done using a program called Notepad++. It's free. You shouldn't have to do anything but install it. You're going to need another program called WinSCP. Uh, it's like a file manager. Once you're able to SSH into the unit, you're able to dig around and look through file system like you normally would on Windows Explorer. You're going to need to download Raspberry Pi OS. This is the software to flash your SD card with Mainsail uh, and Clipper. Putty. Don't really quite understand it. It's a SSH uh, program. You're going to need it. And you should bookmark the Clipper website because there's a lot of good documentation on here that you can just copy and paste. And it'll have all the good bells and whistles for our resonance tester and code to apply for it. So, that's the end of part one.